Hey guys, this is Andrew with rockclass101.com. Today we're going to be learning a very easy strumming song that is dealing with a 12-bar blues. Now, if you're not familiar with a 12-bar blues, go ahead and check out this article really quick that I wrote where it breaks down what the 12-bar blues is so you can learn the form. And we're talking about the basic 12-bar blues form um, in this article. But with this song, we took that basic form and we made a simple substitution. Usually the first four bars in 12-bar blues is the one chord. So we're in the key of A for this tune. So that means that it would be A7, 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 A7. The only substitution that we're doing in this version is that that second bar, we're subbing it out for the four chord. So that means we're gonna be playing the D7. All right, so what is all this one chord, four chord, five chord? So the one chord in the key of A is gonna be A7. And if we just count up from there, A is one, B is two, C is three, D is four. So when I call out four chord, that means that we're playing D7. Now blues is only a one, four, five. That means that we have three chords to play blues. That's why it's so great for starting out um, learning how to strum because you don't have a whole ton of chords to worry about. You only have three chords and you can really focus on your right hand technique instead of I gotta go to this chord, I gotta go to that chord, and yada yada. So with that said, blues is one, four, five. That means we have A is the one chord. We'll use our thumb, A is one. We count up, B, C, D is four, and E is five. So we have A, D, E. And all of blues is always dominant by its culture. So every chord in blues will always be a dominant chord. So with that said, this is going to be the complete lesson. So we're gonna learn everything in this tune. Basically, we're going through the form two times. The first time, the first 12 bars is gonna be all strumming. The second 12 bars adds a slap technique. So you're gonna be adding a backbeat. Now, if that's something new for you, then check out this lesson that teaches you how to add that kind of rhythm and that slap and getting used to using that technique in your rhythm playing. So if you guys want to get the tabs to follow along with, that's gonna be at rockclass101.com. Just look for strumming song, The Blues. It'll be under our ukulele song series. Plus this song is one of the lessons that's part of our beginner course. So if you go to rockclass101.com, you click courses, you can see that um, we have a definitive beginner's guide to ukulele where it's 25 plus lessons and it basically takes you everywhere from how to hold the uke to playing your first songs. All right, so let's kick into this lesson. So we're gonna start with form one. And remember, that's all strumming. But before we get into the form, let's learn those three chords for blues. So we have A7, we have D7, and we have E7. So we'll start with A7. Very easy, it's just one finger. So take the first finger, put it on the first fret of string three. And that's it, the rest of the strings are gonna be open. From there, we're going to the four chord, which is D7. So to make D7, take the middle finger, put it on second fret of string four, and then your ring finger on second fret of string two. That means that we have open third and open one. All right, so the easy change to go to the five chord, the last chord that is E7, is we're gonna take this D7 shape, and we're literally gonna drop it down one string. So we're on strings four and two right now. We're just gonna go straight down and now we're on strings three and string one. So the next step is to take this first finger and add it to the fourth string, first fret. So if I call out this chord, I have one, two, open second, two, right? So first fret, second, open second. And that gives me E7. So you guys wanna just practice those three chords and those changes. A good way to practice is to just strum on the one beat, like one, two, three, four, then the next one, D7, two, three, four, and then to E7, okay? And the hard one is gonna be going from the first chord to the second and then the third. So here's the trick. You wanna try and move all fingers at the same time. So you don't wanna do one at a time like this. You don't wanna go boom, boom. You wanna go from A7, 
to D7. You saw how both of those fingers went down at the same time, right? Right, and same concept. When I go to the next one, those three fingers move together. So those go down, and that first finger comes down at the same time. So we don't want to go ba, ba, ba. We want to go together, right? So from D7, all coming down together. So that's the trick, and that's the trick for almost every chord, um, generally speaking. When you're doing any kind of chord change, you want these fingers to move in synchronization together. Okay, so that's just something to work on. And remember, you can put it in that time frame, just one, two, three, four, 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 and just loop it and start slow. And then as you get clean with your chord changes, boost the tempo up. All right, so now that we know all three chords, let's go ahead and learn the form. So we're gonna take four bars at a time. So bars one, two, and three, and four. So bar one is gonna be A7. So let's just go ahead and hit that together. Three, four, A7. One, two, three. The next bar is D7. Two, three, four. The next bar is A7. Two, three. And the last bar, A7. Okay, so we have A7, D7, A7, A7. So let's do it really slow. Three, four. One, two, three, to D7 now. One, two, three, back to A7. Two, three, four, A7 again. Two, three, four, good. So now let's learn the next four, right? So we're gonna do bars five, six, seven, and eight. So bar five and six will be D7. Two, three, four, again, D7. Two, three, and then to A7 two, three, and A7 again, two, three, four. So we have two bars of D7 followed by two bars of A7. Okay, so let's do it slow. Three, four, D7, two, three, four, strum again, two, three, back to A7, two, three, four, one more A7, two, three, four, good. Now the last bars, nine, 10, 11, 12, they're gonna be a bit different. We're gonna be switching chords every bar. So we're gonna go E7, D7, A7, E7. So bar nine is E7, bar 10 is D7, bar 11 is A7, and then the final bar back to E7, okay? So let's do that together slowly. Here we go. Three, four, E7. Two, three, four, D7. Two, three, four, A7. Two, three, four, E7. Two, three, four, done. All right, so that's form one, guys. So let's learn the strum pattern now for this song. So let's go ahead and take A7, the first chord, and let's add that strum pattern to it. So with my right hand, all I'm gonna do is down, down, up, down. So without me calling, it sounds like this. Okay, with me calling, I have down, down, up, down. Now I'm doing a claw shape for an approach for strumming. So basically, I'm gonna strum with the nails of uh, these three fingers. I'm just gonna strum down. And when I come up, I'm gonna strum up with the nail of my thumb. Now you can also try to just use your thumb. So you can come down with your thumb and then come up with your thumb as well. So I'll show you the claw weight, which is nails come down, thumb comes up. So it looks like that. Or we could just use thumb. Okay, and when thumb comes up, it's gonna use this part right here. And it's okay if your thumb comes up, if it doesn't hit all four strings. If it hits like two and three, or sorry, one, two, and three, that's fine. Right? So it doesn't always have to be every string hit, right? It actually sounds a little bit nicer when it's not like, Right, it sounds a little too uniform. So those are two approaches, and we highlight that in the beginner course under proper right hand technique and proper right hand form. 
So that's something to keep in mind too. We really dive into that in the course. All right, so let's do bar one now that we have the strum technique. And again, the strum technique is just down, down, up, down. So we'll try it again. Down, down, up, down. So we'll do it together. Ready, slow. Down, down, up, down. Again, ready, go. Down, down, up, down. Okay, let's try it on D7. Here we go. Ready, go. Down, down, up, down. Okay, and we'll go back to A7. Down, down, up, down. Okay, so you can really hear that that first drum's going to last a little bit longer. Ba, 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 ba. So it always helps to sing out a beat too. If you can sing it, you can play it. Ba, 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 ba. So try and get that rhythm stuck in your head. It's going to make it so much easier to play. So again, if I take A7, I have... Right? Down, down, up, down to D7. Back to A7. And again. So let's try that slow, all four bars. A7, D7, A7, A7. Here we go. Ready, slow. Okay, and let's do it slower, right? Three, four, so we have down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. Then to D7, let's go into bar five. So five and six, guys, remember it's D7. So here we go, five and six, ready, go. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Then bar seven and eight goes back to A7. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. So the first two thirds of the song, it really isn't too hard because you're hanging on these chords for so long. So let's try bars one through eight. Here we go. One, two, ready, now. So the last four bars is where it's tricky. E7, D7, A7, E7. So let's just try two of those. Let's try E7 to D7. Here we go. Slow. Three, four. Okay, so remember on this change, all I'm going to do when I go E7 to D7 is lift that first finger up and move those fingers straight up. So we have E7, E7. And A7, one finger. Okay, so let's try that again. 9 and 10. E to D. Ready, go. Okay, and let's do the last two. A7, E7. Okay, so the last two again. Slower. 3, 4, so we have... Okay, so let's do the last four bars now. So E, D, A, E. Here we go. Slow. Three, four. Okay, so you guys just want to make sure you have the form down, get comfortable with the strum pattern, and get comfortable with the changes and then you can try to put it all together. So just try four bars at a time. So every time you approach practicing and learning new songs, try and break it down. Do little bits at a time instead of everything all at once. So I'll play through the form one, one time, and then we'll go ahead and move on to form two, which adds that slap. So that's all 12 bars through. 
All right, so let's look at form two. Form two has us adding that backbeat, that slap rhythm. So that's gonna be on beat two. So if I call out this rhythm, I have one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four. Okay, that's a lot to take in. So it's one, and then slap on two. So one, two. Okay, and then you're gonna pluck coming up. All right, so I'm just taking just that A7. So I'm gonna go strum, and just use my index finger. I'm gonna go strum, slap, and then I'm gonna pluck on my way up from there. That means I'm using my thumb for string four, index for three, middle for two, and ring for one. So I'm literally just gonna pluck all four strings as I come up. So I've got slap, pluck. So that's gonna be a really easy way to come up and get our right hand into position to finish the bar. So we have strum, slap, pluck, okay? Again, strum, slap, pluck. So try that with me. Ready, go. Strum, slap, pluck, again. Strum, slap, pluck, again. Strum, slap, pluck. Okay, so that's something you really want to kind of get down. It's, it's kind of weird if you're just starting out with it. But once you get the hang of it, it's actually really easy. And it adds such a nice percussive effect. So form one is really kind of like the bass. Form two makes it a little bit more interesting. So to finish the bar and the rhythm, we have strum, slap, pluck, up, down. Okay, so we're just gonna go up, down with our strum. So we have strum, slap, pluck, up, down. So I'm just gonna take my thumb for up and then strum down. And that's what works the best for me. So again, strum, slap, pluck, up, down. Strum, slap, pluck, up, down. Okay, really slow, three, four. Strum, slap, pluck, up, down. Okay? So the form is the same, guys. So now that you know the rhythm, the form is identical as what we did before up until those last two bars. The last two bars were subbing for that really cheesy ending, right? So let's go ahead and just cover um, playing through bars one through four with this new rhythm. And then we'll do five through eight and then nine and 10. Um, and we'll put that together. Then we'll talk about the outro. So here we go, form two, bars one through four. So A, D, A, A. Ready, go. Okay, bars five, six, seven, eight. Remember, two Ds, two As. And let me call it out as I play, so that way we can just get um, that kind of ingrained in our head, the hits. So again, starting with D and then to A, we have strum, slap, pluck, up, down, strum, slap, pluck, up, down, then switch to A7, strum, slap, pluck, up, down, strum, slap, pluck, up, down. All right, guys, the last two bars, nine and 10, keep that same rhythm going, and then we go into that little outro lick. So let's finish up the last two and then talk about the outro. So the last two, remember, E7 to D7, same pattern. Okay, so if I play bars one through 10 all the way through, we're keeping that rhythm for form two. So from the top, sounds like this, A7, ready. Okay, so that takes us to the last two bars, which takes us back to A7, but when we hit that chord, after we hit that chord, we're gonna go. Right, it's a very cliche, cheesy sounding ending, but you love it, I love it. So just get that rhythm stuck in your head too. ba da ba da 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 It's got a little swung feel at the end. da 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 Right, so you don't wanna play ba, 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 ba. You don't wanna play it straight. You wanna play with a little swing feel. Ba, da, da, da. 
Okay? So keep that in mind too. So remember, if you can sing it, you can play it. So it's going to start with A7. You're going to strum that, just a regular strum, and then come back and hit string three. And you can use your thumb to pluck all these notes. We have strum, pluck, right? So strum, string three. You're going to hold that note out for a bit, and then you're going to walk chromatically up that string. That means you're going to play the notes that are ahead of it. So fret two, fret three. Okay, so we have strum, one, two, three. It's all on string three, right? Strum one, two, three. And then the next bar, we have our little swing. Ba -da -da -da. Okay, and we can use our thumb for all this too. All right, so the next two notes are gonna be open second, then second fret of the second string. So again, I have O2, then the fourth fret of string two, and the open first. So I have O, two, four, open one. Again, O, two, four, one. O, two, four, one. And try and get that swung feel. Ba, da, da, da. O, two, four, one. So from the A sav, strum one, two, three, O, two, four, one. And then you go into our higher voicing for A7. And that's gonna be your middle finger on the fifth fret of string two, index finger on the fourth fret of string one, and string four open. So you're gonna pluck three strings. So that means we have two ways to do it. We can go with our thumb for string four, index finger for string two, middle finger for string one. Or you can use thumb for four again, middle finger for two, ring finger for one. So it doesn't matter, it's up to you, whatever is most comfortable. So again, we just wanna tag all that. Strum, one, two, three, oh, two, four, one, pluck, right? So plucking again is middle finger five on string two, index four on string one, and the open G string. Okay, so ignoring string three. So that's it, guys. That is our entire strumming tune for the blues. So it takes that basic 12 bar form, we subbed out bar two for the four chord, so we threw in one little va variation from the standard 12 bar blues form, and we gave two ways to play it. First one was strumming, second one incorporated a slap beat on beat two. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. This is part of our beginner's course at rockclass101.com, so make sure you check out the courses, or you can click this little link right here. And it really helps take you guys through everything you need to get off the ground with playing ukulele. If you are a more advanced player, you, it recaps all the fundamentals. So if you miss something or if you're a little confused about notation or, or you know picking technique, you can check it out too and it'll help recap some of those basics. So again, if you guys want to get the tabs for this to follow along with, just look for a strumming song, The Blues, at rockclass101.com. Plus, you can get access to that on-screen tab viewer, which is really cool. Very, It's an interactive, um, a lot of fun to use, and it really helps you get songs like this learned quicker. So all that's at rockclass101.com. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I will see you in the next one.